How old is JJ? Is he 24? How old is he? Well, let, let me just ask him. JJ, how old are you? I'm 24. Okay. JJ Watt of the uh, Texans joining us. If you were going to start a team with anybody, uh, you know, non quarterback, who would it be? I mean, it's kind of a loaded question. I, uh, well, you can pick yourself I mean, if you want to. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you have to pick yourself. I mean, I believe in myself. I believe um, I'm a good player, so I would pick myself. All right. Uh, after you, who would you take? Um, um, either AP or Calvin. Well, who is who does more to a defense as far as the changes you have to make when you play them? Calvin Johnson or Adrian Peterson? I think, from my personal standpoint, because I'm a defensive lineman, it does more to me. I think AP, um, just because he, he he does a lot against you in the run game, but obviously Calvin it wreaks havoc on the edge. So both those guys are are the best at their positions, and uh, it, each of them are very difficult to stop. Best offensive lineman is who? Dwayne Brown for the Texans. Aside from a teammate, who's the best offensive line? <laughs> um, that's a good question. I've played against uh, a few of them. My rookie year, I had the, the the Saints offensive line. My rookie year, when they had Knicks and they had Evans, that was a good offensive line. Um, that was probably one of the better ones I played. What makes for a good offensive or frustrating offensive lineman for you? A frustrating offensive lineman is one who's good in both the run and the pass. You know, there's some that are. Um, really good in the run and a little bit less effective against the pass or vice versa. Um, when a guy when a guy can really have a good run block and can drive you, um, and then he can also have a great pass set and, and make it difficult. And then if he's smart, uh, you know, half of the game is playing mind games. And so if a guy is, a guy is smart, it, uh, it makes it a little more difficult to play those games. Who talks to you? On the field? Yeah. You there? Yeah. You asked me like, who talks trash on the field? Yeah, who talks to you during a game? I thought you were giving a deep thought there. I thought that was that was oh. you know for dramatic no, purposes. You mean like offensive lineman who talks trash. Yeah. Um, there's there's guys and we just played against the Dolphins. You know, Richie, uh, Richie likes to talk some talk some trash out there. Um, for the most part, I don't I don't get too many trash talkers. Um, most part, I just play the game and really don't hear a lot. Wait, Richie incognito. Yeah, he's on the other side though, so I don't really hear him ever. But did you see the video with uh, you know where uh, you had somebody swinging their helmet at him? I uh, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Could you understand somebody being that frustrated to do something like that against him? Yeah, you know, I mean, there's there's been some <laughs> uh, incidents in the past, and um, I could I could see frustration. He's JJ Watt, the uh, Texans defensive end, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Uh, the elbow, uh, I know that you're supposed to wear the elbow elbow brace. Here, Here's my uh, observation. I think you want to show off the guns, and you don't want to have the elbow brace on. <laughs> Fair? You're right. Okay. You're right. right. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it looks, um, but it's a necessity. And it's something that's going to be with me for a while. So it'll be around. Um, but, yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, I work hard. I work hard in the weight room on the <laughs> guns, and I like to show them off. I think we need to get uh, – somebody sent me a picture the other day of Paulie with this new watch he's got. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a big it, watch. Yeah, it looks like somebody took a clock off the wall and hung it out of wood. <laughs> well, you can't have skinny forearms like Paulie has and have a watch that looks like a sundial. Yeah, exactly. So either we got two options, Paulie. We either got to get in the weight room or oh, no. size down on the wrist wear. Yeah, Paulie. Yeah, I don't wear a brace, though. You know, I go natural, JJ. I'm – do my job without the help of a person. Uh, there it is. There. It is. Well, we can settle it. We can settle. It. Next time I see you, oh, we'll, uh, we can settle it all. But how much though? We'll hit the weight room. How much of this is about entertainment when you go on a field? How much of? When you, I go on the field. Are you an entertainer? Um, a lot. Well, pregame. Um, pregame. There's a lot of it. Obviously, um, there's a lot of that. And then after you make a big play. Um, but it's all about the football. You know, if you make a, you have to make the plays, otherwise nobody's entertained. So it's all about making the plays. Who helps you, though, guides you 
the parents role in it or brother or anybody that sort of says yes or no, not afraid to tell you no. Cause a lot of times you have, you surround yourself with yes guys. Yeah, no, it's definitely my family, my friends, um, my closest friends, my best friends from back home from high school, my family. Um, and then my teammates, I got bounce stuff off of my teammates. Um, you go through stuff like little celebrations and things like that. And they'll give you the yes or no, whether they like it or not. And, and, it's good to have people like that, you know. I definitely don't have all yes men in my life. That that would be a bad way to go. Your dad still yell at you? Oh yeah, of course. Last... He, uh, he, I don't think that'll ever change. When's the last time he yelled at you? Um, well, you know, it's been a while. I just uh, they just they, they just both retired. My mom and my dad, and uh, I sent them on a cruise for their retirement gift and anniversary overseas. So nice. Um, he hasn't really yelled at me in a little while. <laughs> he can't after a trip like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, if I told you five years ago you were going to be the NFL Defensive Player of the Year, what would you have said? I would have said that will be awesome. Um, that's my plan. That's my goal. Um, but that would be absolutely awesome, and that would mean that every all the work I've put in and all the all the sacrifices I've made were worth it because I've made a lot of sacrifices and there's been a lot of things that I've given up to try and make this happen. And so it's nice that it wasn't all for nothing. You know, the video where you're jumping 59 and a half inches, I mean, come on, I mean, be fair to everybody else who we, we have no vert, you know, and you're doing stuff like that. I mean, come on. I love doing stuff like that. That's, that's my favorite. I, I like doing things that people don't think you should be able to do. Um, I like doing things that, you know, it's just uh, it's just a little off-season reminder that, that I do work hard in the off-season and I do put in the time. Are you, sh- you know, showing off, sending a message? What are you doing here? A little bit of both. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of the body. <laughs> you work so hard. You work so hard to put together uh, this body of work to get your body ready to play, to get – where you want to be. And so, of course, you are. I was excited. I was very excited about that. My friend put it up and have to share it. What's your vertical? At the combine, it was 37. So um, right now, it's probably right around 37, 38, somewhere in there. Could you win a slam dunk with NFL players? Um, no, probably not. Oh, you don't have the creativity? I can't I can't do it through the legs, which I think I bet there's somebody out there in the league that could, <laughs> and that would win. 20 and a half sacks. Give me what is a, a reasonable total that might surprise me for sacks in a year. For anybody? For you. For me. If all goes well, you're healthy, uh, defense playing well, what would be a realistic number? I can't, I can't do that. I don't give out the... Uh, I don't give out the ultimate prediction. I don't give out the ultimate goals, but I do have a goal sheet. I have a goal list, and uh, it's a big number. Okay, over under 30? Under. Under 30 is, uh, that would be, I don't know if we're going to see that for a while. Well, still 20 and a half is pretty good. I'm just, with all the passing that goes on, I mean, I think it's hard to realize what is a legitimate hit on a quarterback now. Do Do you have any problems understanding what you can and can't do? Um, it, it, it's tough. The, the zone keeps getting smaller and smaller. You know, uh, you can't go high and hit the head. You can't go low and hit the legs. Pretty much have to aim directly for the belt buckle. Um, but if, if you hit him in the chest and he ducks his head and it hits the top of your helmet, then you get fined. Uh, it's, the zone just keeps getting smaller and smaller. So it's definitely difficult. But there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to go out there and play and play your game and, and do it your way. How many offensive plays will you be involved in this year? <laughs> My guess is zero. I, you know. <laughs> well, you keep lobbying to play. You think you're you're like Gronkowski, right? I've been lobbying to play since the day I got to the Texans, and it hasn't worked yet, so I don't <laughs> I, But uh I am all for it if you would ever give me the chance. But like I said, I'm not holding my breath. But could you be an all-pro tight end if you wanted to? If I took away, you weren't playing defense, you just played tight end. I mean, I think if I if I had the training for it and I, I worked at it and I watched all the film and I put in as much effort at tight end as I do at defensive end, of course I think I'd have a shot at being pretty darn good tight end. 
When you went up to Matt Schaub after he got hit in the Broncos game, yeah. what did you say to him after a piece of his ear got knocked off? <laughs> I just asked him if he was all right. But, uh, I, I, at the time, I didn't even know a piece of his ear got knocked off. That was that was a pretty crazy hit. And uh, but you didn't. I, mean, I was impressed. He came back in. Uh, that's that's a sign of a, a tough quarterback. A true good quarterback. He came back in again. Yeah, but you probably were on a pass route, so you didn't even see the hit until afterwards. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> no, no, I was standing on the sidelines, minding my business, enjoying enjoying the game. Oh, so you weren't even in the game. But Shaw got hit. Oh, I thought you were playing tight end again. I'm trying to put you in on offense. Know. You know. No, no, yeah. solo. Mind, mind in your line. own business. You could probably hear it though, couldn't you? The hit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was one of the louder collisions I've heard on a football field. <laughs> he comes over to the sidelines. Lisa came over to the right sidelines. Yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, I mean, that was that was one of those moments you're kind of holding your breath because that that. He had basically three guys hit him at one time, and that was that was a hefty hit. Uh, before I let you go, are you planning uh, on uh, Aaron Foster being there for the season opener? Um, no, I don't. I don't know uh, the details of that. Obviously, we are, we're all hoping he's going to be there. From what I understand, he's going to be there. Um, but that's that's the trainers and the coaches. I, I don't know enough about that to speak on it. Good to visit with you again. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we look forward to you pounding Paulie next time you see him. <laughs> did you guys get the helmet? Did you get my dad's helmet? But did he send it in? No, not yet. I don't know if he sent it yet or not. He was on a vacation, so he might not. Have sent He's it on yet. a cruise, but tell him to send it in. All right, I'll have him send it in. All right, good to talk to you again. All right, good talking, All right. guys. Thank have you, a good one. JJ. One.